breaking news. Tension as international organization reveals consequences of disobeying court orders on Unamdekanu orders. Tension as international organization reveals consequences of disobeying court orders on Unam de Kanu orders. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. According to Serap's Deputy Director, Kolawali Oludari, the federal government has failed to implement some of the court judgment that is organization has secured against it. Justice Adiza Shagari's July 5, 2017 order for the federal government to disclose the alleged stolen asset it recovered as well as their values is the force of this judgment. The federal government was ordered by Justice Muhammad and Idris on February 26, 2016 to publish details on the spending of stolen money retrieved by previous administrations since the return of democracy in 1999, read the second judgment. Justice Oluremi Ugutoyibo's third judgment on November 26, 2019, did order the federal government to challenge the legal implications of state pension laws allowing former governors, now representing as ministers and members of the National Assembly, to gather such pensions and to recover pensions already gathered. It was also ordered that the federal government prosecute senior legislators presumed of paddling of pardon and trying to steal four hundred and eighty one billion naira from the twenty sixteen budget and that the investigation into the alleged pardon of that year's budget be widely published in in an April 28 judgment by Justice Mohammed Idris. On July 4, 2019, Justice Chuka Obioso issued his fifth judgment ordering the federal government to publish the names of companies and contractors that have collected public funds since 1999 but have failed to carry out any power project at all. The federal government has refused to comply with these and other court decisions that have gone unquestioned. Other courts, others disobeyed Buhari's administration. The federal government's attitude toward other court orders and judgment is not limited to those listed by Serap. Sambo Dasuki, the former National Security Advisor, was granted bail on numerous occasions but the federal government consistently refused to let him out on the street by the court. Furthermore, the federal government refused to follow a court order releasing IMN leader Ibrahim El Zagzaki on bail and did so in flagrant violation of the rule of law by keeping him in custody after the court granted him release. 
Onam Dekanu, the leader of IPO, was denied bail and access by his legal team and family after the federal government disobeyed orders from the federal high court in Abuja. However, despite this disregard, Justice Binta Unyako had to question the DSS at one point and yet the situation remained the same. Serap reviews consequences of disobeying court orders. Oludare warned that if the federal government's disobedience to court orders continues, the country will reach a dangerous point in its history. Nigeria's international human rights obligations are incompatible and inconsistent with the failure and all refusal to implement legally binding judgment of the court, he said. This country's court are the guardian of justice and it is unacceptable to take them for a ride. If the government routinely ignores and or fails to comply with court orders, then a democratic state based on the rule of law cannot exist or function. If judges continue to defy orders, citizens will lose faith in the ability of the justice system to protect the rights of victims of corruption and human rights abuses. Federal government react to the above claims by Serap. Addressing the issues raised by Serap, the federal government recently took a swipe at the NGO, accusing it of engaging in what it referred to as publicly stunned by bringing spurious suit against President Muhammadu Buhari. Senior Special Assistant to the President, Media and Publicity, Garibald Shew did not address the issue of government disobedience to court, but rather said, despite filing numeral suits against the President of the country, the group has not managed to, to pursue any of it to the conclusion. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.